What's going on guys? This is a WWE fan guy and today we're gonna to be reviewing um Money Night Raw, Raw twenty fifth anniversary twenty fifth year anniversary. And um we're gonna see um um what was on uh, the Raw twenty five and what legends that showed up and right there right now I'm showing you a picture. I didn't really get to, you know, take video but I do have pictures of what I took when I watched Raw 25, and this is one of them. This is Jim Ross, Jerry the King Lawler, over there at the Raw 25. They had a big, uh, uh, pretty much big uh, part of it, you know. Um, Jim Ross, Jerry the King Lawler, two um um two um uh good dynamic duos as a bring as bring announcers uh, uh two icons uh two legends. It was great seeing them together. You know, I wish they had more time uh, together. For, I wish they would have. Uh, I probably would. If I was my, my idea, I probably would have gave them the whole show to commentate. Would have been a gift for the fans and for everybody to see them um, do what they do, man. And you, you could see some one one match uh, was a tag team match. That um, they still had it. You know, they still had that chemistry, and I liked everything about it. So yeah, it was good to see them. So let's switch on to the next. Uh, picture, and we got uh, Stephanie McMahon, and we got Shane McMahon um, to start out Raw, and um, they were gonna, um, they're presenting, they're uh, pretty much uh, just uh, advertising Raw 25, and uh, and then they're waiting for, uh, they're presenting, uh, bringing out Lucha McMahon, no, especially the pictures are just waiting for him to come and present them with the with the reward, um, I didn't really get to see a get the on um, the picture, but you know, um, they're gonna give him like a little plaque, uh, which uh, they donated to get it. So yeah, so so here we go to the next picture, and then yeah, um, we skim all the way to uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out after Vince Man starts bashing the fans. Well, well. Uh, them about him giving uh, the, giving him a plaque and you know they could have done better by giving him something you know, him being a little ungrateful a little uh, biased so Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out you know how the history they had back back day and back in, in the day and they had a really big part of the uh, of 25 years and you know it was uh, awesome to see Stone Cold Steve Austin he really looked good in shape and I think he um, it was I think he looked good. You know, like he can still wrestle. <laughs> I don't think so. So, uh, yeah, Stone Cold Steve Austin to, uh, go interrupts Vince McMahon and um, go confront Shane and uh, Vince. You know, and then we see another picture. I guess this is after he uh, uh, do does a stunner on Vince, and he does two stunners on uh, on. Uh, Shaming man, so yeah, and then we see him drinking a shitload of beer, <laughs> you know, doing what Stone Cold Steve Austin does. It really brought a lot of memories back to see him, and it was awesome to see. It was a good segment. It was a good way to start Raw. So let's go to the next picture. There's another picture of Stone Cold Steve Austin giving the fuck you finger <laughs> to everybody, you know, signature uh, way. You know, he's always been doing that, so. Yeah, it was cool to see Stoke with Steve Austin. And then there's a picture of him and Vince, you know, giving him beer. You know where all this is going to end up, you know. It's not going to end good for Vince. Another one, clear, kind of clear picture. And then I got a little bit of the, well, a little bit, it was kind of blurry, uh, where he stuns the uh, man, stunner, you know. Awesome, you know, I wish... We got a bitter picture, but it was hard to. He did it so fast that well. it's hard to get a clear picture of him doing the stunner. So yeah. And then later on, um, this is right after we see. I don't really. I got mostly the main legends, um, but we did see um, Ted DiBiase, a APA. Um, I'm, I'm naming all the ones that I didn't get pictures of: Dudley Boys and uh, and uh, Teddy Long, Boogeyman. Uh, and um, trying to see who else. 
uh, Kurt Angle is there, obviously he's the general manager, and yeah, we got so many others, but right here we see the iconic uh, Undertaker, great to see him back, uh, we have seen him in WrestleMania 33, and him coming back, and his old, pretty much, and his uh, awesome, uh, one of his best attires I've seen in a while, and we get to see, not to mention guys, we get to see awesome, uh, the ring was awesome, uh, it reminded me of the old days, the old WWE days, uh, great setup, good, awesome way to see, uh, to see, uh, Undertaker, so, yeah, see him some more of the Undertaker, see him right here, walk into the ring, see him right here, that, you know, he's saying thank you, you know, he put so many, uh, souls during the 25 years, you know, talking in his character, you know, didn't really announce, uh, didn't really give no, uh, tease of him coming back, but, you know, you see the fans saying woman ranch and all, but yeah, it was great to see the Undertaker, and then right here was a big, <laughs> if you should have known, but, uh, what a great match against Roman Reigns and The Miz, great to see The Miz, re um, get the championship again, and, uh, he, and you know, he, he's a, He's an awesome champion, especially with the Intercontinental Champion. He brings a lot of prestige towards that champion, and um, it was great to see the Miz uh, pull it out, you know. And it's, you know, and people are mad because he won the way he won, which you know it's very understandable because he's a heel and he's supposed to win like that. And um, I'm not really mad that the Miz won. I'm glad he won, and it was an awesome match either way. So yeah, pretty sure um, Roman Reigns going for the Universe Champion anyway. So. More pics of him, and then we see uh, triple. I mean, we see uh, Seth Rollins uh, going to Christian Peep Show. Um, you know, we see him and Jason Jordan. You know, um, Jason Jordan, Seth Rollins uh, giving a handshake to uh, Christian. So yeah, awesome to see the Peep Show again, with Christian. And then we see the little segment here. You know, people booing Jason Jordan. You know talking over him and all that we really little sees that wrong talk I wish we had but he had more time to talk and Christian talk you know but yeah it was a good segment segment it says Rollins so um yeah it was a little segment though you know so Cesaro and Sheamus interrupt them more pictures of them tag team and then we see John Cena come back you know he was a he was a big part of the uh not attitude era but a ruthless aggression you know it was good to see him back just to intro up Elias and then I think Elias uh, hits him with the uh, guitar, you know. So good. I guess it's a good way to push Elias, you know. And then uh, good to see Mean Gene. And then he interviews uh, AJ Styles, which was an awesome moment. I'm like, great picture, uh, great moment, great, you know, feeling to see. So yeah, it was good to see Mean Gene. See more pictures of them. More pictures of them, and then we get to close to the end of the uh, raw. We see DX. Um, um, they came with uh, Razor Ramon, Road Dog, uh, Billy Gunn, uh, X Pac. Uh, um, yeah, pretty much congratulating uh, 25 years. You know, really congratulating the fans. Uh, you know that uh, supported them and all. So yeah, and then we see more of them. And then think this is all the pictures I got. 